What up, Lobos? I'm Jose. And I'm... <sighs> Code Agnes. Today is September 27, 2016. And today's delicious lunch is enchiladas or hot ham and cheese. Now, Lobos, please do us a favor and stand for the pledge. Intramurals are still going on in the small gym from Monday to Thursday before and after school. 7.15 before school and 4.15 after school. Be there. For all those 7th and 8th grade, 8th grade students, girls soccer and boys wrestling has just started. If you want to join, there's still time. Just make sure to bring in those physicals. See Ms. Courtois in D27 for soccer and Mr. Morley in F1 for wrestling. Talking about physicals, there will be sports physicals at South on September 29th. Talk to your coach or Mr. Netherton for more information. Eighth graders will be going on a field trip on Thursday for career day. So Hello, Lobos. I'm here with Mr. Raskin, the boys' soccer coach. So, Mr. Raskin, where can you get physicals? Uh, well, you can go to your regular doctor that you have and make an appointment for a physical or uh, Mr. Netherton, especially for the girls that are uh, playing soccer right now. Mr. Netherton is going to get a doctor to come in next Thursday. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Graders, if you're interested in an academic program at CU Boulder, please contact the counselors or go to the main office for more information. This program will help in your future resumes of when I got this job, so go sign up. On November 11th, there will be a community night event with the Colorado Avalanche at the Pepsi Center. Tickets are $24, so go to the office for more information. Hey Lobos, I'm Felicia and I'm here with Mrs. Devlin, the school nurse. And I'm going to ask her a few questions. Okay. So first, what are the seven Bs when visiting, well, your office? Well, I have them right here. Hopefully you can see them. The first thing is bleeding, which means like beyond a band-aid where you're holding it and if you don't hold it, all the blood's going to come out. So that's when I need to see you right away. Protect. If you're burning up and you have a fever, I'll always check your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever. Or if you have a fever, I'll probably end up calling your parent. Um, Guess that's what? a good reason to go home when I you run into temperature. If you have a broken bone, which it's means you um, may have fallen and you hurt something and you can't get up. I usually have somebody um, let me know that you need a wheelchair um, or somebody will escort you to the health office and uh, anyway that's pretty serious and we also call parents right away on that. If you're barfing, not my favorite word, but it's a B word, <laughs> so I'm going to say if you feel like you're going to throw up or vomit, um, come to the nurse and if you have uh, already vomited, you have to let me know. Alright, then we have breathing problems and actually there's quite a few kids who have asthma or allergy problems, so uh, that is a good reason to come to the nurse. And then um, if you're diabetic and you're, you feel like your blood sugar is high or low, that's also a good reason. And then the final one is a bump on the head. Um, if you've hit your head or something has hit your head, um, please come to me. We, we always call your parents whenever something has uh, bumped you on the head. So that's what I have for the seven Bs. What do you think about them? They sound like good reasons? Yeah, very important. <laughs>
That's all for today, Lobos. Ladies, don't forget to join soccer. It's not too late. Peace, Peace out. out Lobos.